Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. I quickly wanted to start off this vlog. We're about to head out the door and head to the Winter Garden area. We're going to, I think it's a block party. It's Oktoberfest. So it's a fun little block party. We've never been out there. And we're gonna explore the area and meet up with some friends. So I'm really excited. I'm wearing a cute fall-ish outfit, as fall as it can get in Florida right now. I got this top from Princess Polly and I shared it in my last video. And I think my code is still active. I'll put it on the screen right here and I'll also link it down below, just in case you wanna shop it but it's this denim little button up. And then I'm wearing it with some linen shorts from Park, they're this black color. And then I'm also wearing some high top Converse that are platform. But this is the outfit we're gonna head out. I'm super excited and I'll be vlogging. I'm gonna try and get a photo in this for Princess Polly because I still need to get a photo for when that vlog goes up to post on Instagram. So hopefully I'll try and get a photo in this tonight. If not, I'll just try and get a photo tomorrow. So that way I can submit it along with my video. Here's the outfit we're gonna head out. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so I'm excited. But welcome back to another video. Okay, good morning. I'm about to make my coffee and I wanted to walk you through what I've been recently doing. I used to do this a couple years ago, actually. I used to put collagen in my morning coffee every single day and I did that for years. I think it's one of the main things that helped my hair grow because I used to have really short, thin hair in college and now I have really long hair and my hair grows like a weed. But if you're new or you missed some of my past vlogs i've been trying to thicken out around my hairline so i started incorporating collagen back in and i'm doing this every single day so if you've been following me for a while you know that i've been doing the one up nutrition protein during the week so i only do it monday through friday because i work out on those days and I'm not doing this right now anymore. So I'm back to collagen and I'm doing this every day in collagen. This has protein in it, so I'm still getting the protein benefits, but also the hair, skin, nails benefits as well with collagen. So this is what I've been doing. I am getting it from 1UP Nutrition. I also have a coupon code with them always. I do get a small percentage of commission off this coupon code so i did want to be transparent about that but i do have a running coupon code with them i've been working with one of nutrition for over a year and 
I love their stuff. So this is what I'm using. It's just the unflavored one. And I mix it in my coffee. I do half a cup of milk and then a full scoop. I'm just gonna pour the honey into the cup so the espresso pours over it. And that's what I do for coffee. But I was burning this candle all day yesterday and I feel like it barely went down, which is good. It was pretty inexpensive from Target. I think it was $10, but I literally burned it for probably like six hours yesterday. That was the second time I was burning it and I feel like it barely <laughs> went down. But I need to burn through some of these candles that I purchased because once november hits i want to burn christmas candles and i feel like i can't be the only one so i'm gonna light this candle but i'm gonna trim the wick i'm driving through baldwin park and they're putting up all of the snowflakes in the trees and i'm so excited I just got back from the grocery store and unloaded everything and I'm about to meal prep for the week. We're doing pasta salad this week. I believe I mentioned it in my last vlog but two weeks ago I actually decided to cut out gluten to see if it helped or made a difference. So I'm currently eliminating it. It's been two weeks. I'm still going to keep going probably for 30 days, maybe two months just to see the full effect of it. So I'm doing mine with the chickpea pasta but we usually do the protein pasta. And I've linked the recipe before, but I'll link it again. It's just salami, black olives. I'm not a huge black olive fan, so I get a small can. Tomatoes, mozzarella, red onion, red pepper, parsley, cucumber, and then it has an Italian dressing on top. So I'm gonna prep everything and then put it all in Tupperware, and that will be our lunches for the week. I'm editing or not editing I'm uploading my work week in my life actually right now I'm really glad that I quickly kind of edited it and spent a lot of time this past week working on it I also need to upload my footage from last weekend and start editing that because I have to submit that on Wednesday to the brand and I might have to skip the gym a couple days this week to kind of get that done and good to go so that way I can submit it on time <laughs> but 5 30 i really wanted to get this up yesterday but i just didn't do all the finishing things and i needed to make a thumbnail and do the music and also kind of like run through it again and look at it i also brought out my furry birkenstocks from fuzz from last year i had them at the top of my closet in their box but i brought them back out for the fall and winter time i love these <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even own regular Birkenstocks. I own the clogs. Is that what they're called? Boston suede clog things. And then I own these that are furry, which they're my favorite. I can link them. I got them um, last year. Do I size up? I actually did size up in these to a 38. I usually wear a 37, which I think is a six and a half, a six. I don't know, I have like really small feet. I can fit into like a five and a half sometimes, a six. Sometimes I wear a seven. Gosh, just depends, I guess. I'm gonna upload this video and then I'm gonna figure out dinner. I feel like 
my hair looks more grown out in the viewfinder than it does in the mirror. I do get my hair done, not this coming Friday, but the following Friday, so that's good because it looks like I need it. But I just got out of the shower, made myself a lemon balm tea, and I'm about to do some skincare. Krish and I went to Kava for dinner, and then we came back and I got in the shower. I double cleanse in the shower, but I still feel like my hairline, like I obviously try and get as close to my hair as possible, but I always take micellar water and like wipe around my hairline. And also I like wash behind my ears in the shower and sometimes it's hard to tell if you like um, get all the soap off. So I always wipe behind my ears too um, with this. I don't really think, I don't think I've done like a nighttime skincare routine in a long time, if ever, but I'm using the Clear Stem Bounce Back Serum. I use this every night. So this is my second bottle of this. It actually lasts a really long time. I know it's pretty pricey, but the first one just ran out and I feel like I got it back in June or July and it's almost the end of October. So it lasts a really long time. I even brought it to Italy with me because it's one fluid ounce. It lasts so long and I use it every night. It's also retinol night. I use, or tretinoin, I guess is the term. I do skin cycling. I've been doing skin cycling for a long time actually, probably close to a year now, but I do one night of recovery instead of two that you're supposed to, um, but I did work my way up to this. So the first night is like AHA, BHA. I did that last night. I switched between the OC AHA treatment or I have this like mini polish choice exfoliant. Once this runs out, I bought this for my trip, but once this runs out, I will purchase the big one. So I switch off between these two. And then this I obviously got prescribed and tonight is the night for that. And on the nights that I don't use Tretinoin, I will use this Frightening Clearing Serum by Tropicals. I have this like dark spot on my cheek right here, but I've been trying to fade this dark spot for a while. I only use a little bit. Sometimes I forget to put it on. I've heard really good things about it. My friend Taylor actually used it to clear up a lot of her hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So I use this as well. I got it from um, Sephora. It's Faded Topicals, I guess is the brand. I'm just gonna take let me turn that in. Put this on. And then I'm going to take the Necessary Neck Serum. I actually just got this, I want to say like a month ago. I kind of forget to put it on to kind of help with aging lines from sleeping and looking down at my phone or computer. If anyone has like a good recommendation, I do bring my skincare to my neck, but... I want something that's maybe like targeted for it. If you guys have tried this, have you had any luck with it? Or is there a product that you recommend for necklines? I really try, but at the same time, I can't help the way that I sleep sometimes. Wash my hands before I put on more face stuff. But I'm just taking the La Roche-Posay um, moisturizer with Goop Jeans All-in-One face oil, just a couple drops. And I kind of layer this over the next serum too, but I'll put on my face. Now that skincare is done, I'm gonna finish with this E ointment for underneath my eyes. I've been putting this underneath my eyes um, at nighttime. I only use it at nighttime during the day. I use the Ilia eye cream, but at nighttime I want something like a little bit heavier. And I used to use just Aquaphor, but I got this E ointment off of Amazon and it's vitamin E wheat germ oil, aloe vera for dry skin, wrinkles, and stretch marks. I just use this. It's like kind of like the same consistency as Aquaphor and I put it there and then I also put it right here because I heard that the skin right here is also the same delicate skin or it's like the same, it's thinner than the rest of your face and it's just like your under eye area and you should take care of it the same way as you take care of your under eyes. So I also put it right here as well. Um, I'm gonna do that in a second. I like to finish with that when I do like my lip balm and stuff before, I mean after I brush my teeth. But I'm gonna do hair care 
And I'm going to put in the Vega More Grow Hair Serum. I've been using this every single day. I don't skip. Okay, I just put it, my hair up, but it just leaves your hair like a little bit damp, but it dries. It doesn't make your hair greasy or oily or anything, which I like. I was very concerned about it in the beginning because it said that you could use it every day, and I was like, every day? Like, you can use it every day? But it doesn't make your hair greasy or oily. I have also haven't been using it for a whole month yet, maybe just about, and it's like still pretty full. So I'm going to continue using it. I think you start to see results after 90 days, but some people show results as little as the bottom of the first bottle. So I'll keep you guys updated. I've been using it for almost a month, I would say, and no complaints so far. So I'm going to sip my tea and then I'll brush my teeth and do the rest of my skincare and head to bed but i wanted to go ahead and end off this video i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um i just posted my work week of my life you guys seem to love when i film those um so thank you so much for all the kindness honestly that you've always shown me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye